What's going on YouTube? Come back at you another video. So we got legendary West Coast veteran MC casual from the collective hieroglyphics reacting to my son's recent comments about Eminem and Mariah Carey and comparing it to the situation that's going on with DJ Vlad. So I'm going to show you what Casual got up on his Instagram before I do. If you haven't already followed me on Instagram, at Hip Hop Classics Daily, all one word, please take a second to do so. Before I get into this too, big shout out to everybody out there who's been messaging, who's been commenting, asking, what's up with the videos, where I'm at, why haven't I been doing any videos, I've had a lot going on. I haven't been focusing or paying attention much to social media. I'm going to get back to it shortly, though. The grind never stops. So, Casual has this up. This is from my son. This is my son speaking. It says, if you a black man who has an issue about Vlad TV, white man, not apologizing to Minister Farrakhan for one post, but don't have an issue with Eminem, white man disrespecting Mariah Carey, black woman, for over a decade and never apologizing, we need a real deep conversation. Just us. So, um, Casual reacts. He said, how stupid is this analogy? We call ourselves thinking men and women. Who can explain why this is a horrible analogy? If this statement was a chess move, he just put his queen in front of his king on a file where a rook is hiding behind a bishop. How's that for an analogy? Sad. Hashtag my son lost stripes to me. So basically for those people out there who don't know, from my understanding, DJ Vlad had misrepresented some comments about Minister Farrakhan that a lot of people out there took issue with. People started looking for an apology. DJ Vlad, although I don't know if he apologized at this point, wasn't apologizing or wasn't going to apologize. It was looking like people started looking at my son um, for him to speak up about the situation. My son's response was not what people were looking for at all. So he's been getting the third degree. I'm going to be honest with you, and this is off topic. I watched a video with or that Hassan Campbell recently did. Shout out to Hassan Campbell. And he basically challenged my son to a debate. During the video, some of the things that he said actually stuck with me. I thought it was pretty powerful and actual truth. One thing that really stuck with me and made me kind of look at my son a little bit differently was this. And before I say this, let me just say, I've always looked at my son as a leader. I've always looked at my son as somebody who was a voice of reason. I always looked at my son like somebody who was out here actively trying to make a difference in the world. But one thing again, Hassan Campbell said was, how is my son fighting for all these causes, but he's not talking about the things in life that are basically the most important? That being the fact that we're under attack from the New World Order, basically, um, the, the vaccinations, the um, shit that they put in the food, the shit that they put in the water. And it really made me think, and it made me look at my son a little bit differently. Like, this is what... Anybody out there with a voice who is not talking about these things, you have to question their authenticity in what they're doing. Because anybody out there who is knowledgeable and has a voice obviously knows that we are under attack. And if they're not talking about these things, letting people actively know what's going on, um, you have to, again, question and look at them a certain type of way. I haven't seen my son telling people about the vaccines. I haven't seen my son talking about the GMO food. I haven't seen my son talking about the plan to depopulate and remove 
90% of the earth or whatever it is of the population. I haven't seen my son talking about none of that. And it really, again, made me question my son's authenticity in this. I still have a lot of respect for my son. I still want my son to have the opportunity to respond to some of these things and basically explain himself. But it has made me look at the situation a little bit differently. And it looks like a lot of people out there starting to question my son over other things as well. Let's check out some of these comments. Shaking my head. We all know why Vlad disrespected Farrakhan. He's lost and just started acting like he's conscious because his rap career wasn't shit. Yeah, that one can't be compared. I think it was a, va a thinly veiled shot at Marshall. I unfollowed dude after that post. Have to distance myself from dumb shit. I don't agree with this. As, um, I don't agree with this at all. My son is compromised. He waffles all the time out of convenience for folks who he holds up on a pedestal. He's been moving like a status-driven politician for years. This shit sounds incredibly um, stupid, weak, and contrived. I stopped listening to my son a while back after he said some corny shit. Forget what it was. I still, I see he's still on it. Mariah Black, damn. Thank you for saying this, bro. I thought the same thing when I read that stupid analogy. Respect. So, my son, been getting the third degree lately from a lot of different people for a lot of different reasons. Again, me personally, my problem with my son, although I really don't have a problem with my son or anybody else, you're out here to, to do what you want to do in life. It is what it is. But the problem I have with my son's voice is that my son is not talking about these things that I think are the most important. Anybody out there who claims to be quote unquote woke, but isn't talking to you about the new world order, isn't talking to you about the vaccines, isn't telling you how important it is to have a relationship with God, isn't trying to warn you about um, having your kids drink the fluoridated water or eat the GMO foods or anything like that. People who aren't out there actively trying to tell you that kind of stuff, you have to question their authenticity. That's where I stand. Hopefully my son comes and addresses some of these things and we get some clarity as to what he's actually thinking. Let me know what you guys think though in the comments. Hit the like, subscribe, share, leave some feedback. Make sure you ring the notification bell if you're subscribed so you get updates my future videos when they drop. Also, please take just one second to click the link that I'm going to pin as the top comment. It's going to take you to a dope artist out there grinding, trying to get his YouTube channel monetized. He's almost there. Please click the link and subscribe. It costs you absolutely nothing. I appreciate you watching. Peace.